Here with Del Del Barber just played live at the Roslyn. Hey guys, thank you so much for that. That was an amazing show. Oh man, so fun. Why would you want to play a show like this? Uh, I watched some of the vids and I was like, oh, these these seem really slick. But more than anything else, I want to just have fun when I play, and I want the guys to have fun when they play. We we play some shows where it's really hard to have a good time. Del, it sounds like it's a grind. You're always working for the songs to come across. And tonight I just felt like it was just really easy. It just felt like we got to be ourselves. There are some really great gigs out there that, that have gone really poorly for me. And that every musician knows this. Like you get you get a call from the greatest festival in the world that you've always wanted to play and you can stink. Just the stars don't line up. I want to be able to tell stories. I want to do my theater show. So I kind of get to do both of my favorite things at once. And so that's what I was hoping would happen. And based on the stuff I watched you guys made and stuff, I, I just hope people liked it. I hope people liked it. We definitely love doing it. So I think it's the it's the future is being able to sort of do things like this that are well produced and and have people access it from wherever they are. Like there are places that I people ask me to come back and play, and it's just really hard to get there. And so um, these types of things allow people to get access to it and it's it's sort of a beautiful moment. Uh, I complain a lot about technology. I'm a little bit of a Luddite but in these moments in terms of access uh, it's, it's sort of like the new frontier for us. Like play I tour a lot as a duo or solo or, or trio and, and sometimes I wish they could hear the kind of talent that Winnipeg has. Um, we have the best musicians in the world touring all over the world all the time and so I can't always get them together even when I'm in town. And we got all my favorite players here tonight to play with me, so I'm, I'm really stoked that you guys got to tune in and see it. Five years have gone by since I released a record and, and a lot of stuff has changed. This, the market has completely changed and so I'm just surrounding myself with people who know how to sort of angle it and, and hopefully figure out a way to successfully release music, you know, in 2019, 2020. Uh, it's, it's a bewildering thing. I used to, like, I got my CDs in HMV back in the day. You know, it was a huge deal for me, and it was like right at the moment when that when they all closed. You know, I used to go and like listen diligently to all these new releases, and so that was my like uh, dream. Was like have my CD in the CD store, and that happened for like a brief second, and it all faded away. And now we're like even further from that, I'm trying to figure out how to do all that, still tour, and also be a good dad, and be home enough. Um, be good to my friends, and you know, basically, it boils down. If you're gonna, if you end up a jerk because of this, then you, then, then you should quit. It has to make you a better person. If the art's not, then, it, then it's a waste of time. And I want that to be the great governor in my life going forward. I would just love to thank the Village Idiots, everybody here. You guys have a big crew, and you guys work really hard. It takes a lot to set these things up and to pull them off. Uh, we musicians really appreciate things like this. And you know, our group has done this for a while now, but. After 70 episodes, we just got ourselves another first. We've never had the experience happen where Facebook has had an outage. Of course. It's prevented us from going live and we had to come up with a different plan. You know, you guys just rolled with it like pros. Like, that's what you gotta do. What else? You just make a plan and you do it anyway. People are coming, so you just, you know, we're happy. We love each other. We got free, nice beer. Um, so we just really appreciate that these things happen, that you care enough to do it, and that it's working. Thank you, it's just heartfelt. Thanks for me and the band. Thanks for having us and for doing this. Thank you, yeah, thanks a lot. Oh man, thank you.